everyone, Spidey Chick here. Thanks for tuning in once again. I'm going to be doing a video on my EDC. I absolutely love it when people share um, their decision making process and, and why it is they carry the things they do. And I, I think it's really great when people share that information. So I just wanted to share it myself. And um, here we go. I'm going to start off with my phone. My EDC really has changed much over the years. So uh, here we go. So this is my phone. I'm just using the Nexus 5X. This phone is about two years old now. And this actually is a, a new 5X because my phone unfortunately went through a boot loop. So Google was nice enough to give me a warranty. So I'm waiting on the three year cycle and I'm going to wait for one more year. Hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, I'll get the Pixel 3. <laughs> And in terms of mounting options, I just use the Spigen, simple Spigen car mount. I keep it nice and flat here. So literally, I put it onto my car mount, and I just magnetically put it in so I don't have to have any type of fancy or um, big type of apparatus that I need to put onto my windshield. It's been a big change. It's nice and flush. I just put it right onto my car mount. Next up, how about we'll talk about my keys. So I took off my house key just for the purpose of the video, but I wanted to say here uh, what I had initially on my keys. They've changed quite a bit over the years, and originally I had my work key, my clinic key that I have for the clinic I work in. I actually took it off because I found that when I don't have my work key on my regular keys, I actually found it actually helped with work-life balance. Mentally, I was able to separate work a little bit more from my personal life. I don't know if anyone can re relate to that, but I found it actually made a big difference. So here's my car key. Uh, in terms of my flashlight, I use the Nightcore tube. I find I chose this over the tip for the purpose of the fact that this was much smaller in terms of weight and form factor. That's the reason why I chose it and I found that the low mode and then the bright mode, brighter mode, sufficient for me. That's all I really need. Nice and simple. And that's why I have that there. In terms of the Swiss Army knife that I'm using, I find in my office setting that I work in, it's not too threatening. So I find that this is uh, helpful for the people that I work with. I really like having a pen readily available. I probably use this most of all. And of course, you have your... Phillips driver, cap lifter if you want to pull out a beer or anything like that. You got nice, trusty Victorinox scissors. You got a knife and you got a nail file. All, all that good stuff. I also like to stick a little Lego figurine here. <laughs> I, it's this little shark. I, I just think he's really cute, so I just stuck him in. In terms of other things I used to have originally on my keychain, I used to use these uh, New Myth battery capsules to carry pills and any type of medications that may be required. For instance, I have a friend that has a really strong anaphylactic reaction to peanuts, so I would carry some Benadryl here just to, uh, as an initial uh, help in terms of his reaction before he is able to get additional services to help with him. After a while, I found this was too large, so I ended up using my container from the New Myth lighter that I had and I just literally just took it out, took out the lighter container and then I just stick in my pills in there. I don't do that anymore. I found that it was a little bit too obtrusive in my pocket so I just kept it nice and simple, kind of died it down. In terms of flashlights, what I'm using now is the Zebralight SC5C2 and I use the warmer tint version and the reason why I use this because for a while I was using the Zebra Light SC52, and I found that I really love that light, but I just had a, a problem with the interface. I found that people I was lending the light to, they actually would blind themselves initially because the mode, the initial mode was high. So I love this version because you're able to program it. I programmed it to low for the first click, and then uh, press and hold would be medium, and then I do double tap for high. And I found the run times were fantastic. Really, really great light. This is definitely a winner for me. Only gripe I have with it would be the pocket clip. I think it's way too tight and it can tear up some fabrics. But other than that, I thought it was a great, great flashlight. I'm starting to really fare away from 
lithium ion rechargeable lights nowadays. For a while I was using the S1R baton, the rechargeable version. Yes, and I used to use that because I really liked the light. The output was fantastic. The form factor is, is way, really, really small. It's nice and it's nice because it's, it's actually magnetic and it's really, really great. If I wanted to use this for camping, I have a nice little insert here and I'm able to have a nice little lantern. But I found myself in multiple situations where I did not have the opportunity to recharge these batteries. So now, nowadays, I'm really starting to fare towards and move towards AA powered flashlights. Uh, if not using my Enel loops or even trying now my Amazon Basics. So those are things I'm just using now. It's my flashlight, here's my phone, my keys. In terms of knives, what I'm typically using nowadays, recently, I've been using my Ferrum Forge Falcon. Let me do a nicer flick there. There you go. Ferrum Forge Falcon and absolutely enamored with this knife. Really loving it. Great quality steel. Really nice fit and finish. Ergonomically, it feels fantastic. Lots of different grips. And the knife itself is not very large. Under 7 inches for overall length. Less than 3 inches for the cutting edge. So it's quite small, which really is great because my hands are really quite tiny. I wear extra small female size gloves, so my hands are really tiny. So uh, I think a smaller knife fits well for me. Also because I typically work in an office setting, so I find when I'm using when I'm using these bring knives into an office setting, people I find they can get quite intimidated. So in terms of knives that I typically use, it would be the Ferrum Forge Falcon. This one seems to be faring pretty well. It doesn't look too aggressive, and uh, for the setting that I go into, and also I'm finding the the knife itself is not too large great overall knife. Really, really loving it. Sometimes I may use uh, my Cricut. Again, it's a small knife. Fits really nicely with my hands. Works for most cutting tasks that I handle and deal with. And then, of course, my Swiss Army Knife Cadet. This is the Mastrot Limited Edition. It's even indicated here. 2017. There you go. And uh, it has its, as people know here, you have your can opener, your 3 mil millimeter screwdriver on the top, your cap lifter, 5 milliliter, millimeter uh, screwdriver there, and then you got, of course, your trusty blade. And really, that's all there is. And that's fantastic. Fits my purposes. So overall, right now, these are more or less the knives I'm using in my rotation. If I need something a little bit larger, I may pull out my paramilitary 2. And if I need something larger still, I may pull out my my Spyrocom Mannix. So those are more or less the things I'm using right now in terms of an everyday basis. I have my phone, I have my Baron Forge Falcon, I have my keys, and I have my flashlight. More or less these items right over here and I'm finding the rotation is working really well and I'm finding I'm really really enjoying this new setup. All right, thank you very much everyone for tuning in. Appreciate you spending the time. Feel free to leave any comments below and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Take care, bye.